Hi friends, Amanda here at Bare Bones Living and welcome back to my kitchen. And today I am making some teas for myself. One that I'm going to be consuming now and one that I'm going to be consuming postpartum after the baby comes. Um, so they have a lot of similar ingredients but there are some differences between them for the different needs that I'll have. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me and because I, I should have been drinking the one, started drinking the one a while ago and I just hadn't gotten around to it. So that's why I'm trying to get it done today. So I thought I'd just bring you guys down here to show you exactly what I'm using here. Um, I have two red raspberry leaf right here. This raspberry leaf I harvested from my raspberry bushes last year and then this is actually a store-bought or I think I got it off of Amazon is a marketed red raspberry leaf tea um, and it's just red raspberry leaf crushed up and processed for me already so this I've had for a while, so I'm going to try to use this up first before I get into my um, raspberry leaf. And I'm going to be using the red raspberry leaf in both of my recipes that I'm going to be making. And so first I'm going to be making the postpartum tea. And I'm going to start with a half a cup of this red raspberry leaf tea. That's a little bit more, but that's okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And red raspberry leaf, um, I have drank red raspberry leaf tea in my previous pregnancies as well is just really beneficial for um, the actual delivery of the baby. Um, it's been shown to possibly help in strengthening contractions and shortening labor. I can't necessarily attest to it doing either of those but I figure why not give it a shot um, and it, it it didn't harm them right so um, and I, I drink this regularly during the third trimester of each of my pregnancies or the red raspberry leaf tea at least not this postpartum tea <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to add a half a cup of nettle that I bought. Um, and this is an anti-inflammatory. And an immune booster. So that's pretty important. That'll be useful. Then next I'm going to be adding some lemon balm and this is lemon balm that I grew and harvested last year and honestly I just harvested it and let it air dry and I hadn't done anything since so I just pulled this off of the stems and I'm crushing it up. And it's quite fragrant and lemon balm is great for digestion we actually had to use lemon balm with Cole because he had a lot of digestive issues as a baby um, he was very colicky and we were sick of buying gripe water <laughs> Um, which only temporarily helped. So we ended up making our own gripe water. 
and lemon balm really helps with digestion. Um, so I'm glad I have this on hand this time because I was going out and pulling lemon balm, having to pull lemon balm off my plant with coal because I had didn't have any of that prepared. Um, so not, but not only digestion, it helps with, uh, it's a good tea for stress and anxiety. It's really good for calming. It helps for, as a sleep aid, which is needed for new moms. <laughs> so I'm going to do a quarter cup of the lemon balm. And then the rest of this I'll put in a mason jar just in case or for other teas and things like that. You can just drink up lemon balm tea if you'd like um, for anxiety or helping to sleep or whatever. Um, the next ingredient I'm going to be using is chamomile and this is my home grown chamomile and I'm going to do a quarter cup of this as well. And this bag smells so good that I, when I opened it, <laughs> um, our, our pollinator garden did really, really well this year. And the bees absolutely love the chamomile. I can't wait until I can actually have bees. <laughs> but chamomile was definitely one of their favorites. I'm going to add a quarter cup of that. Um, and chamomile is great for calming and another sleep aid. Um, and it's just, it also tastes delicious. Um, here I have some peppermint leaves. And I'm just going to add, I think maybe like an eighth of a cup of peppermint leaves. And I'm just doing this for a little added flavor and peppermint also helps with um, nausea and stomach upset. And it tastes good. So I'm just going to put a little bit in. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I have it. Might as well give it a shot. And this is my homegrown peppermint. I'm also going to use uh, fenugreek seed. And fenugreek seed aids in lactation. And I had difficulty with Hunter not being able to produce enough breast milk for him. So I did a lot of fenugreek seed. Um, I did not have that issue with coal, but it just gives you more. I'm not um, like a super producer or anything like that, but I didn't have a supply issue with coal. But I'm going to be adding fenugreek seed because oh, everybody needs a little help sometimes. And I have it still. So I'm going to be adding, yeah, I'm going to throw that a little bit more. So I think I'm going to do a quarter cup of that as well. And then my last couple ingredients here, I'm going to be adding some ground ginger. And since this is ground, I'm just going to probably do like a tablespoon of it. And ginger is just packed with Antioxidants, good for you. 
And then I have nutritional yeast powder that I got. And this I think I'm gonna do Goodness, if I can get this open. There we go. About an eighth of a cup of this. is about it for that. So I can put this lid on here and shake it all up, but this is what it looks like right now. And then I'll shake it up. So about a tablespoon of this is a serving. And I have these little muslin bags that I use for teas. They're reusable, really useful. And I'll just put it in here and steep it in some water. And that is all ready for me for my postpartum drink. Now for my drink for now, I'm gonna use the rest of this raspberry leaf tea. And to this, I'm just going to add a cup of that nettle that we used. And I'll have to mix this up. And then this I can use And I can brew hot tea, I, I can brew cold tea. Um, in the past, I've drank this mostly as cold tea because I'm usually very thirsty. And anytime you can get like a different flavor of something, um, I drink mostly water and LaCroix. I treat myself to some cranberry juice and ginger ale every once in a while for a little bit of a sweet treat and a boost. <clears throat> but I, having a cold iced tea is really nice and I also have organic lemon juice so I can make some I can mix some tea with some lemon juice and I think that'll be really good as another drink that I can have and I think I'm actually going to brew some of this up right now for a gallon I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup and I'm going to seep three quarters of a cup into a gallon of water. And then I can just drink that as just tea, or like I said, I could do like an Arnold Palmer kind of a deal and mix it with some lemon juice and make some like lemonade kind of a deal. So I have about 10 cups of water here heated up and I put about a half a cup of that tea mixture into one of my muslin bags 
I'm just going to let that steep for about five minutes. And then I'll have, I'll put it in this pitcher to cool off and put it back in the fridge. And I can just drink off this at least a cup a day. Yeah, and it's nice and refreshing and tastes like t iced tea, basically, because that's what I just made. And I didn't add any sweetener to this. I could add some honey or sugar if I'd like to, to make it a sweeter drink or a splash of lemon juice like I have to give it a different flavor, but it's delicious and hopefully it helps me. <laughs> so that's just another thing that I have done and now I can start drinking it and we'll just keep waiting for baby to arrive. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.